Gabrielle, thank you so much for talking to us tonight. Uh, so can I ask, what brings you down this evening? What brings me here? So I was invited by Mo Boy to join them for the launch of their Tick Watch. Um, and I really love the campaign. It's all about looking up from our phones. And I, I really um, I really try and take my, like, especially in the last few years, I've really, really trying to take my mental health really seriously. And, and limiting my time staring down my phone um, has really increased my happiness and productivity, actually. And, um, and it's really improved my lifestyle. So I really, I really thought that the campaign. I don't know. I, I really, I was, I, I liked it. You know. So it's really nice to be a part of it. Yeah. So. Amazing. Have you noticed then, sort of, from looking up from your phone, has you say it has been amazing for your mental health? Um, has it been good for your productivity when it comes to like your music, for example, and music writing? Yeah, so for writing, definitely. And I'm aware, as an artist and I'm the kind of age of artists now, we have to kind of be online and engaging with fans, and that's a, a real gift. But at the same time, I can really get sucked into it, and um, it's really helped with writing, definitely. It's really helped me to just turn my phone off and be in a studio or be with my friends or actually just living my life and actually getting experiences to write about and not being just down my phone. Um, I've noticed I've just Kind of been, you know, I, I could get up on a Sunday and I would lay in bed on my phone for half an hour scrolling before even getting up and showering. And I've kind of, I don't, I've, I've put it in my kind of in my morning routine. I don't even check my phone until I've done washed. I've had breakfast. I've done all the things for me that I need as a human being before I start anything else. And it really helps. So oh, that is like an amazing discipline. You should go and teach that somewhere. <laughs> That'd be such a great thing. I mean, thing. it's hard. It's difficult. I've had like right, like and you know, you fall off and you kind of stop and you just have to keep doing it. But I do definitely feel a difference. So yeah, it's great. Okay, so just talking about your music then, what are you up to at the moment? I have been hibernating um, in studio <laughs> mode, um, just really trying to write the best songs I can. I've been really um, experimenting and I've, I've always um, kind of shamefully maybe always tried to be so cool and make a point that I'm a real musician and I play and I've shied away from pop, but I love pop music and I've been trying to write the most real but fun songs that I can write and I'm really excited and um, I'm about to release the first thing from my next album so really really soon my first, my first bit will come out so when can we expect that? Uh, in imminently in a few oh, weeks okay. yeah so really really um, really soon and yeah I feel um, kind of scared but in a good way and it's really really like yeah really honest um, but yeah no I, I just thought I will try and be as honest as I can and going back to like the kind of whole social media and phone things it's very there's a lot of there's also the kind of mental well-being of what we do post online and what we see online as well and I just had to stop caring and start trying to cover up my spots or like edit my pictures or only take pictures when I'm having a good day I've just decided to try and be more real and yeah and honest so yeah you know what, it's probably such an inspiration especially for people who are aspiring to essentially live your life so yeah. I'm sure that would be so incredible for them yeah and I mean I just I've just I've been really, really trying to take you know pictures. I really enjoy sharing but I feel like we do tend to share pictures from the car and makeup done nicely yeah. or we're doing glamorous things you know I can really care about walking my dogs in a lovely field and I, I will share a picture of me wearing no makeup in my dog in, a, in my field with my dogs because you know I, I feel like more people do it then more people will be happy to share the mundane parts of their lives which are important you know? they're the norm aren't they that's the actually what brings people back to reality yeah and I think if we just are a bit more honest online and maybe in real life well, and it's just it's a bit nicer so yeah I think I agree with that <laughs> um, okay so talking about online though because obviously your background and where you came from is actually online um, so have you noticed sort of the shift from when you first started on YouTube to where you are now and how things have changed generally in the music industry yeah I mean I feel like major labels are they're still king but they're not that I feel like they are trying harder and they are there's so many ways in which you can put your music out there now Spotify and Apple Music and all the streaming sites are and services are amazing um, and social media is amazing the way that you can just make music in your bedroom and so even though there's it, it's getting a bit more saturated lots more artists are doing the whole DIY thing but it's great that you can 
you know, and it's made it an accessible career for more people. So, yeah, I love it. That's great. And I love that it, things can be international. I love that. Um, I actually had a number one in Brazil last year. And that happened because of the internet. So that's that's amazing. And that's, you know, I mean, it's still, it's different. People aren't queuing up for album release day anymore. Things are readily available. Singles are readily available now. And there's no, like, pre-ordering and all that stuff. But, like, it's changing. And I do think we have to roll with it. So. And do you think, sort of saying that, things are changing? Um, obviously, it's the time of year where all the lovely um, reality shows are coming out. Things like the X Facts, when they first came out, and Brits Got Talent, obviously they were game changing for the industry. Do you think they're having to change to go along with the fact that the internet is changing so much? Maybe. Maybe they are. Maybe I do think that the X Factor may have to start letting artists play instruments and sing their own songs and all of that. But I still do think it's a great platform, you know, and people can say what they want, but it gives an opportunity for anyone from any background and any age to sing and perform in front of an audience and make something for themselves and I think it's still a, it's still a great opportunity. So yeah. Okay, and last question, where can people find out about what's coming up next for you? Um, on all my social media, so Gabrielle Aplin on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, if people are still there, and, uh, and all of them. So, yeah. Amazing. Gabrielle, thank you so much for talking to us. Have a lovely evening. Thank you.